A fraternity at ASU, Arizona State University, has been banned after they had a party for MLK Day and uh, it was considered a racist party. So uh, apparently, according to uh, reports, uh, TKE was suspended Monday for holding an MLK black party where attendees were encouraged to wear jerseys, drink from watermelon cups. Clever. And uh, guests posted photos on Instagram with the hashtags um, blackout for MLK and hood. Yeah. So we have some photos. I want you guys to take a look at the photos and then you can judge for yourself. Uh, they posted all over the place. The photos went viral. People were really concerned about what kind of message they were sending. But it's also really important to note that this particular fraternity, Tau Kappa Epsilon, has been in trouble in the past. In late 2012, they were involved in a very violent brawl outside of the campus, and they were on probation as a result of that. If you want to get a sense of how violent that brawl was, we do have video. So let's uh, toss to that for a second. 911, what is your emergency? Uh, there's a altercation going on over at Hayden Lane, 1920 Hayden Lane. Somebody just came out with baseball bat and smashed somebody in the face. He's out there right now. Came out of a car, smashed somebody in the face. White male, black male, Hispanic male? White, white male, white male. Oh, fire, gunfire. Down, 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 get down. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. All right, we got to go. We just got to go. Okay, I'll wait up from the way. I think I remember seeing that video before. Yeah, these guys are classy guys. Very classy. Yeah, um, uh, but Richard Sherman's the thug, by the way. And, and I like how they're like, yeah, hashtag hood, yeah. But wait a minute, you guys were the one involved in that incredibly violent affair. I think maybe hashtag hood on your ass, right? And, uh, and I, what bothers me is how stupid they are. Like, the <laughs> drinks out of the watermelon, like, we're still doing the stupid watermelon joke after all these years, and you didn't like you didn't think that that might get you in trouble because of how obviously and over the top racist that is. Like, so what were they, like? I don't understand these guys. I just can't get inside their head. Like they're like, hey, yeah, we're having so much trouble. We already got kicked out. Let's do an illegal party uh, where you know we do something massively racist and then put it on Instagram so everybody can see how racist we are I bet that won't get us in more trouble yeah maybe the simple answer is just they're incredibly dumb they are incredibly dumb and people are making the argument that this is a First Amendment issue and, and it makes me realize that people don't really understand what the First Amendment means okay at this university they have certain terms and conditions that students have to abide by all students agree to it when they sign and enroll for the university, once they get accepted to the university, they did not abide by those rules, right? You don't have the government coming in and saying, hey, we're going to throw you in prison because you did something racist, right? Sure. So if you want to do something racist on your own time and you and your friends get together in, in your home state or whatever and you join the KKK, you're allowed to do that. But if you are breaking the university rules while you're participating in fraternity activities, sorry, if they want to kick out, uh, you know, or not not kick the students out they haven't done that yet but if they want to ban the fraternity they have the right to do so and this was offensive I mean think about what kind of environment that creates for minority students yeah uh, I didn't it's what's weird is I didn't see a lot of black folks in those pictures Not uh, yeah none. What, so like when you're like ha oh, ha and then they always throw in the gang signs like and the gang signs are always th like this what is this <laughs> or, or like this oh it's upside down oh I got it she looks yeah. so hard yeah, she looks uh, really black. Yeah. That's so stupid. Okay, and look, here's the thing. Let's assume that you think it's not stupid to do offensive stereotypes about blacks. You gotta admit it's stupid to think that that won't get you kicked out, won't get your frat kicked out of the university when you're already in massive trouble at that university. So either way, there's the one thing we know is how stupid these guys are.